Now in section two is where we get more into the linear programming and two main types of problems is that we want to find how to maximize something and how to minimize something. Uh, and in section 6.2, we are only setting up the equation. We're not solving it. In 6.3, we're gonna learn how to solve it. But for right now, we're just setting up our, um, our problem and uh, we want to find an equation to maximize and we want to find the system of linear inequalities that we found from 6.1. Uh, so I'm taking a look at an example out of the textbook. It's on page 335, 330, number five. And reading it, we have a division of the Winston Furniture Company manufactures dining tables and chairs. Each table requires 40 board feet of wood and three labor hours. Each chair requires 16 board feet of wood and four labor hours. The profit for each table is $45, and the profit for each chair is $20. In a certain week, the company has 3,200 board feet of wood available and 520 labor hours. How many tables and chairs should Winston manufacture in order to maximize its profits? And I've got the summary listed. Uh, we know that each table requires 40 board feet of wood and three labor hours and each chair requires 16 board feet of wood and four labor hours and the first thing the first big thing we want to look at is what are we trying to do are we trying to maximize or are we trying to minimize well in this problem we want to maximize we want to maximize the profit so we need to find an equation for the profit um, well in any Whenever you're trying to find an equation, you want to know what X and Y is. Um, we're talking about tables and chairs, so we can let X equal tables and Y equal chairs. We want to maximize the profit. The profit equation is the $45 times the number of tables that are sold, 45X, plus $20 times the number of chairs that are sold. So that's plus 20x. And so we are maximizing this. That's our first step. Our second step is to find the linear inequalities that will uh, you know, bound our region that we're looking for. Um, and this is found by uh, you know, we've got a certain amount of board feet that we can use of wood, and we've got a certain number of labor hours that we can use. Um, so looking at the board feet of wood first, we've got a total of 3,200. And so if we use 40 board feet of wood for each table, and 16 board feet of wood for each chair. This cannot be bigger than 3,200 because that's all they have. So that would be written as less than or equal to 3,200. That would be one linear inequality. And then they also give us information about the labor hours. And we have a total of 520 labor hours. And so if it takes three labor hours for each table and four labor hours for each chair. We know that when we add these together, it cannot be more than 520. So that would be written as 3x plus 4y less than or equal to 520. Those are your two most important equations. Um, and of course, we should note that uh, the number of tables cannot be negative and the number of chairs cannot be negative. So we're gonna have uh, four linear inequalities. So our answers is the profit function, telling it that we're maximizing, and also we're giving the system of linear inequalities that defines how we can maximize our profit.